so internet is full of information with pcos and it can leave you completely baffled confused and frustrated thanks to all the information and all the recommendation out there making you feel so lost so here i wanted to touch upon seven myths that most girls have related to periods or pcos and let's debunk them This generally happens when you're you're on a pill and you get a pill bleed which is not a real period. Lack of ovulation can affect our fertility and overall health because there is no progesterone production to balance out the estrogen effects. So it's very important for you to check with your doctor to help you out how to track your ovulation. Again, that's not true because cysts are not the main criteria or factor for PCOS. The main factor is high androgens or high male hormones which determine whether you have PCOS symptoms or not. Hence you can have no cysts in your ovaries on ultrasound but you can still be a PCOS. This is far from the truth. A pill does not help you regularize any symptoms or any of your cause of PCOS. It only works till you take it and the minute you leave it all your symptoms come back and even worse because the pill cuts the communication between your brain and your ovaries which may take months or even years for it to reestablish for some women. Blood test may not actually give you the true picture. It may show that you have nothing, maybe because of very broad ranges or incomplete testing, but you may still show signs and symptoms of PCOS. So the best way to judge whether you have PCOS or no is to check your signs and symptoms because your body tells you everything it needs to tell you and the best judge is you by far. This is definitely not a sustainable solution for PCOS because carbs are very important and a very low carb and a high fat diet can worsen your condition because carbs are important for thyroid, liver, brain, reproductive function and for good gut health. In fact, a very high diet can alter the gut microbi uh, microbiome in a way which can be harmful to health and increase your insulin resistance which can worsen PCOS. So you need to be very careful about which fat diets and what you pick up to find solace for your PCOS because diets are not the solution to heal your PCOS. Following a low caloric diet plan can actually worsen your condition because it triggers cravings thanks to restriction. It can lack essential nutrients which are very important for healthy hormones. It can affect your thyroid function thereby slowing down the metabolism and it can also trigger the starvation mode thereby making you gain or store more fat rather than burning it the best form of exercise for pcos is the one you enjoy which makes you want to do it and makes you feel energetic active and not burnt out and depleted now cardio is definitely important for strengthening our heart muscles but it's also important to strengthen the muscle mass of our body to improve insulin resistance and increase the fat burning in our body. Hence, it's important to work on body weight exercises like yoga, pilates, weightlifting, strength training, resistance training. But remember, if you're already stressed out, then severe forms of workout or chronic cardio like marathon, spinning, crossfit, etc. can put more stress and strain on your body, thereby increasing your cortisol levels. So, in that case, you should do small bouts of cardio like brisk walking, jogging, cycling, swimming or HIITs or lower intensity workouts like weight training, strength training which can help you to improve your overall body and health. In the next video, we are going to talk about 16 reasons why you may not be seeing results with your PCOS problem.